Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of Wall Day Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a three half double crochet bobble. If you take a look here in this little swatch, you can see I already created one of these bobbles, and it just has a nice rounded effect to it, and it will definitely stay at the front of your work instead of popping to the back. There's no hole here for it to go through. And we create this bobble using a crochet hook. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in my piece of work here, I'm just gonna knit over to where I'm gonna place my very first bobble. So I'll be placing it right here. And I'm just gonna to wanna to push my right needle out of the way. And then I'm gonna take a crochet hook that is the same size as the needles that I'm using for my pattern, or just a little bit smaller. So I have a four millimeter hook here and I'm using US 7 uh, four and a half millimeter needles. Okay, so you're just going to place your yarn at the back of that left hand needle and you're gonna insert your crochet hook knitwise through the front loop of your stitch and we're just going to yarn over by going under and behind our working yarn. And then you're gonna pull a loop up out of the stitch you just went into, just like so. And we're gonna secure this loop with our right index finger. And now we're gonna do another yarn over by going under and behind. So there's our yarn over. And I'm gonna slide that onto my hook. And then I'm gonna go back into that knit stitch again, go under and behind, and drop another loop. And each time I do this, I wanna make sure that it's about the same length as the one before it. So I have three loops on my hook, and I'm gonna repeat that yarn over two more times. So I'm gonna do a yarn over my hook, I'm gonna insert it into the stitch again, go under and behind that strand of yarn, pull up another loop. So there's a second, sorry, a first repeat, and I'm gonna do the second repeat. So yarn over my hook, and insert the hook into that knit stitch, go under and behind the strand of yarn, pull a loop up, and now I'm gonna slip the original stitch off of my left hand needle. And if you take a look here, we will have seven loops on our hook. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to yarn over again, so go under, and behind our strand of yarn. And then we're gonna kinda of grab this bobble that we've created, pinch it with your middle finger and your thumb as we pull that working yarn through all seven loops. And you may want to, let me try that again, you may want to wiggle your crochet hook just to make sure you don't go through any of the loops. Okay, so that is the loop that we just pulled through. Now we're going to yarn over again by going under and behind our working yarn. And you're gonna pull that yarn through the loop on your hook. And that is a crochet chain. So we've chained one. Now we're gonna secure this bobble because at this point it's pretty loose and sloppy looking. And by securing it, you're just going to insert your left hand needle through the left leg of the stitch in the row below. So here is the stitch that we created our bobble in, right here. So we're gonna go into the left leg of this stitch that was before this stitch, so the row below. So here's that stitch, and here's the left leg. So I'm just gonna insert my left hand needle left to right through that left leg. And now I'm going to use my middle finger to pop that bobble to the front of my work just like this. Now I'm going to take my hook and go in purl wise and just slip that leg of that stitch onto my hook. And you can see that brought the bobble to the front of my work. Now I'm just gonna kind of tighten up that loop on my hook. And now we're going to yarn over. Again, when you yarn over and crochet, you're going under and behind your strand of yarn. And now we're going to catch that loop and we're going to pull it 
through that leg of that stitch and through the chain, or sorry, the loop that was on our hook. And now our bobble is complete. And all we need to do is just slip it pearlwise back onto the left hand needle. We're done with our hook for now. And then you'll push your needle, right hand needle through your stitches. And then we'll just slip that onto our right hand needle. And now you'll wanna cinch up your working yarn and you can see that bobble just rests nice and flat at the front of our work. There's not going to be any issue with it popping to the back because there's no hole there. And then you simply knit over to your next stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that bobble one more time. Okay, so do one more stitch here. All right, so again, I just like to push my needle through. If you're using straight needles, you can just lay it um, parallel to your working needle like this. And we'll take our crochet hook again. I'm gonna insert it into that stitch where we want our bobble. Yarn over our hook. Oop. Yarn over our hook. Pull up a loop. And I like to leave that loop the same size, no matter which uh, size that you want to make your bobble, you wanna make sure that they're all pretty much the same. You want them all to look alike. So I draw this up probably about a half an inch and then you'll go behind your needle here and you'll do another yarn over. You'll go into that original stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and now we have three loops on our hook. And then we're going to do that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over your hook and pull up a loop and then we'll do that one more time. Yarn over our hook insert into the knit stitch, yarn over your hook and pull up a loop. And then if you've lost count of that repeat, you can just stop and count your loops. You want seven loops on your hook. So we have two, four, six, seven. And then now you'll yarn over your hook and pull that stitch through all seven loops. And then you can take that off of your left hand needle. You can see we have our bobble. Now you'll chain one by yarning over and pulling through the loop on your hook. And then again, we're gonna anchor this bobble by inserting our left hand needle into the left leg of this stitch in the row below, below the stitch that our bobble is in. So right there. And then again, you'll use your right index finger or your left middle finger, it doesn't matter, to push that bobble to the front. And then you're gonna put your crochet hook into that left leg and just slip it off of the left hand needle and cinch up this loop on your hook to bring that bobble to the, just to kind of tighten it up. Then we'll yarn over our hook and pull through that leg and that loop on our hook. And now we've completed the bobble. And we'll just slip it over purl wise onto the left hand needle load up our right hand needle with our stitches and then you'll just slip that loop that was remaining back onto your right hand needle. And since it looks really sloppy and messy, you just wanna stop and cinch up your working yarn. There we go. So that is our three half double crochet bobble. So essentially when you're creating this stitch, in crochet, you can create a half double crochet stitch and we've just started three of those half double crochets and not finished them until the very end when we have the seven loops on our hook and then you just yarn over and pull through all seven loops. So that's why this is called a three half double crochet bobble. So I hope this technique and this video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.